Welcome to Basket of Tales, a time travel into the world of stories. Hello friends, welcome to Basket of Tales. This is Miss S yet again with another interesting story from the Tales of Panchatantra. Today our story is about an elephant and two sparrows. Let's begin our story. Once upon a time there lived two sparrows who happily built their nest on a huge bushy mango tree. Soon their nest was home for tiny baby eggs. The mommy and the daddy sparrow were delighted to see their eggs hatch. One sunny morning an elephant was passing by the tree. Now, this elephant was very proud of her might and strength. She started feeling hungry and wanted to reach a branch which had fresh leaves. She started to bang the tree and the tree began to shake. The sparrows were so scared and worried. They came out of their nest and requested the elephant to stop banging the tree. They said, we have built our home on this tree and we have small babies in our nest. We request you to please look for another tree. The hungry and furious elephant did not like somebody stopping her. Out of anger, she started to bang the tree even more harder. And within no time, the bird's nest was knocked down. Their babies were injured and their home was destroyed. The mommy sparrow began wailing. Seeing her weeping bitterly, a woodpecker who lived on a nearby tree came to console her. The sparrows narrated the entire story. The woodpecker said, Do not worry, my friend. A friend in need is friend indeed. Let me go to my dear friend Fly and see if he can help us in teaching the elephant a lesson so that she doesn't behave the same way with other animals. My friend is very intelligent. The woodpecker and the sparrow went to the fly. The fly said, We will surely teach the arrogant elephant a lesson. Let us plan what to do with the help of my buddy, the wise frog, who lives in the pond. Now all three went to the wise frog. The frog said, I will be more than happy to help you, my friend. I have a great plan. The following day, they spotted the elephant walking along the forest and suddenly she heard a lovely melody. It was actually the fly humming in her ears. It was so lovely that the elephant closed her eyes and started enjoying the soothing music. As soon as she closed her eyes, the woodpecker swooped down from the nearby branch and started to poke the elephant with its beak. Oh, the elephant howled with pain and the hot temperature was making it worse for her. The woodpecker poked and soon left the place. The elephant, who was in pain, thought of going to a nearby pond and sprinkle some water on her face and eyes. But the elephant couldn't even open her eyes out of pain. Now she was stuck and did not know what to do. Then suddenly she heard a croaking sound of a frog. With closed eyes the elephant tried to follow this sound. She thought, if I can hear frog croaking, then I am sure there is some pond somewhere nearby. Let me follow the sound. The elephant somehow managed to reach to the pond. Suddenly, the elephant started to experience something weird. She felt a pulling sensation. She realized that she had stepped into a large stinky marshes. Oh no! cried the elephant. This is getting even worse. What a terrible smell! and I cannot even see anything. 
she tossed around splashing in the dirt and dead plants her huge body was twisted in the weeds now the elephant started to shout for help the frog replied you destroyed the nest of my dear friend in spite of their request you continue to bang the tree to show your might and anger so we all decided to teach you a lesson finally the elephant fell down exhausted she truly felt sorry for what she had done and apologized to the sparrows the moral Whatever began in arrogance and anger ends in shame. Do not act in anger. We have also learned something nice about friendship and unity. United we stand, divided we fall. So did you like the story today? Hope you did. Do remember our four Bs. Be grateful, be respectful, be responsible and be a good listener. Thank you for listening and hope to see you all soon with another great story.